Hiya, Saseni, Saseni, my safeguarding family around the world. I am Jeff, your safeguarding officer. Karibuni sana katika video siku leo. Before we go anywhere else, wacheni tu nitoa shukrani kwa 30 for helping us to reach 10,000 subscribers katika our YouTube channel. Asante ni sana. God richly bless you for you our subscribers. Tunawa love sana. Tunawa penda sana. Kama kawaida, safeguarding watoto is all about keeping children safe, ensuring watoto wanalelewa kwa njia mzuri, ensuring that we do not do anything to jeopardize, to put children in a disadvantage, kuweza kuletea watoto madhara uh, kwa njia yote ile. Either kwa sababu ya tumetamuka maneno, ama tumewafanyia vitu, ama tumewacha wafanyue. Um, keeping children safe is a collective responsibility for individuals, families, communities, and nations of nations. Siku ya leo tukependa tu to base our video on our brother Ayubu, who still remains in the hospital, I believe. Nimekua away for work so sijaweza kuwa kwa mtandao but anyway i still believe our brother is still in the hospital umeendelea kuwa katika maombi kumuombea and i know the family of god is still praying for our brother ayubu it is very good to see that the family uh sent that video that was showcased on true ktv we want to thank the family i know the safeguarding family around the world would like to appreciate the family for communicating Sana sana kwa sababu kuna watu walikuwa nauliza ndani ya safeguarding uh, family. Uh, where are the brothers? Where are the parents? Kwa sababu wa yubu walikuwa mawajulisha akona wazazi, mama na baba, akona kakazake na, you know, the sister. So, yeah, watu walikuwa na shanga kweni, why is the family not saying anything? Mbwana familia haijaweza kufika, tangia akue hijacked, tangia reporti patikane ya kwamba meweza kuumizwa and he's been hospitalized but we thank god that uh, this manifested now and the family is okay and uh, actually they are saying they are on their way um, to come and see Ayubu that is fantastic news tunashukuru sana na tunawambe one thing that I really liked about what Apostle John said is that he's coming to Nairobi but he is not saying when he's traveling the next video we are going to see of Apostle John is going to be when he is by Ayubu's bedside. That is the right way to go about that. It is critical what Apostle John said. Of course, um, the family and uh, everybody is now aware of what happened to Ayubu. So it was wisdom there. And because sometimes ni lazima tuangalie tujue ya kwamba maombi kuambatana na vitendo. Hawezi tukufanya maombi useme Unataka mungu wa kufungulia milango, wa kubariki, akulinde, akuzingire na nema yake. And then wewe ujiachilie tu ovyo ovyo everywhere. Ilazima pia wewe ukaenda ni ya mpango wa buwana, ni lazima ukaenda ni ya nema ya buwana. Ni lazima ukakikisha kwamba pia wewe unafanya kazi na neno. Faith without action is dead. Bibile na tujulisha hivo. So it is wisdom, Bill and Apostle uh, John alikuwa nasema kwamba hata sema ni wakati gani ataweza ku safiri kwa sababu hange penda pia shetani yaweza kuchukua huo mwanya uh, ajaribu pia kufanya mambo mingine manake huyu pia ni ndugu yake ayubu you know if the enemy can target ayubu they may want to target the children they may want to target the the siblings so that was wisdom and that is actually what we are praying that Ikuwe hivo, sio lazima kila kitu tutangaze kwa mtandao. Sio lazima kila mipango yako uwe unaambia watu una, unachukua microphone, unaambia watu unataka kufanya hivi. E, ninapanga hivi. Mimbo yangu nitaanza kujenga na mna hii. Nitawa huyu mwanamuke. Bwana yangu wanae niyoa ndio huyu. Nitazaa mtoto wakati fulani. Aa, aa. Nafanya biyashara yangu na mtu fulani na fulani. Biyashara yangu itakuwa ni hii. No, 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 no. Kuna watu na viatu. 
kuna watu duniani hawa kutaki mambo mazuri usifikirie wewe kila mtu anakupenda sio kila mtu ana celebrate your victory sio kila mtu ana celebrate what god is doing for you with you and through you mm -mm. kuna watu wanasikia uchungu kuna watu wana panga njama kuna watu hawezi kulala kuna watu hawapati usingizi kwa sababu wamebarikiwa usije ukalisahau hilo so wakati unaongea jipange my sister jipange my brother families mjipange mjue sio kila familia inawatakia mambo mazuri kuna watu uanga they spend the whole night chanting they spell they, they, they spend the whole night planning and orchestrating how to plot evil on you so be alert be quick be fast spiritually be alert so that ujue sio kila mtu anakupenda na sio kila mtu anakuwaza vizuri Mungu ana, ana mawazo mazuri anakupenda mipango ya Mungu ni mizuri na he wants to do you good but not everybody want to do that and unfortunately watu wakipata hiyo opportunity ya kukufanyia vibaya kwa sababu hawakupendi na hawapendi progress yako they will do that and especially kuna wale wanakuchukia usifikiri ni kila mtu anakupenda kuna wale wanaweza kuchukia kwa sababu maybe unafanya what they do maybe wewe ni big competitor kwao maybe what you do is better than what they do so wakipata opportunity ya kukueliminate so that whatever they are doing will be the only thing then they will eliminate you usisahau hivyo so well done apostle john for clarifying that you are coming because people did need to hear that somebody from ayubus family blood ataweza kufika pale Nairobi ili aweze kuja kumcomfort ndugu yetu a uh, Ayub but of course it was we thank god and we pray for your journey hata unapotoka kule Dar es Salaam that the, the hand of god is going to come with you na utaweza kusafiri salama salimini and the next time we see you will be with our brother Ayub pale hospitalini we bless god one of the things ningependa kusema about what happened to our brother ayubu and the reason as to why we are where we are is because of unfortunately sharing and airing some things hizo ambazo nimeongea hapo wale kidogo you know it was not time yet ku zipeana hizo report ama kuyasema hayo mambo and uh, a while ago i think nilifanya video nikaongea kuhusu aliyekuwa mtumishi wa Mungu uh, Joseph he was the last born of 12 brothers na bale ndugu zake kaka zake walimchukia sana kwa sababu alikuwa ni the son of his father's old age kwa hivyo alimpenda sana mzewa akashonewa the coat of many colors lakini ile dream yake alisema mapema sana mpaka sasa ikawa brothers zake wameanza kumchukia alianza kuwapatia maono ya kwamba ameona his star ikishine their stars zinamzunguka yeye yako pale katikati ni kama wata, wataenda kumsujudu wataenda kukua you know is going to be their leader na yet yet yeye ndio mdogo so what happened to our brother ayubu i believe this with all my heart because tuliona wakati ayubu alitoka tanzania kule ndani ya kutafuta na kusaka for his own family aliporejea after i think ilikuwa ni five months amekuwa pale Tanzania amekuwa akiwasiliana na mtu aliyekuwa mke wake Ruth pamoja na watoto wake pale lakini wakati aliporejea of course aliweza kujua ya kwamba familia yake imekuwa na tashwishi and therefore akapita pale kwa director yake akasema angependa asaidiwe kufanywa sanitization from that day mpaka wakati dini imefanywa kumekuwa na mzozo pale kwa ofisi kwa, kwa hoteli wanakutana kwa mkahawa Ruth Boniface mama ya Boniface Purity mama ya Purity kila mtu pale kwa director je kwa ofisi wameweza kukutana pale kumekuwa na msuka suko wameweza kufurugana pale you know both Boniface Ruth dada yake Ruth kila mtu but it has never got into a place like what happened so 
shida haijawahi kutokea ama shida haikutokea kwa sababu Ruth alichit na Boniface ama kama alikuwa na wanaume wengine shida haikuwa kwa sababu um, Ayubu ni mtanzania shida haikuwa kwa sababu Ayubu hakusikizana na dada yake Ruth ama mama yake ama nani ama hata you know shida haikuwa kokote shida haijawahi kuwa kwa sababu Ayubu alichukua watoto manake yule Ruth aliweza kuondoka na akawacha wale watoto pale kwa nyumba na akafikiria dada yake yako hapa pale dada yake naye wakati Ruth aliondoka naye pia aliondoka kaenda zake pia kutafuta sijui ni nini alienda kutafuta but wakati Ayubu alienda kuchukua wale watoto pale kwake alikuta wale watoto wako peke yake waama ndipo salipigua simu na um, neighbors wakamwambia watoto wako wako peke yao mama yao na anti yao wameweza kuondoka watoto wako peke yao so wajibu akaona wale watoto wake pale wako tarini na akaweza kwenda kama mzazi bora akawachukua na akaenda nao sasa mzozo ilianzia kutoka pale but whatever happened was nothing like what happened afterward after what we are discussing today because ayubu alienda polisi ruth alijaribu kwenda polisi uh, ruth alikuwa sawa watoto waliweza kuja watoto wakati mwingine wakaugua wakaenda hospitalini waka, waka eventually wakabaki hapa kwa director kwa ofisi ruth akakuja wakaonana it has never been a problem na walikuwa wanaendelea kufanyia mambo yao na vile wataangalia nini na vile nani yako na watoto mambo ya boniface yote all that has never been a problem until wakati ilisemekana ayubu ataondoka Tanzania na watoto that was the first time when problem began pale mbeleni all those i think a couple of weeks almost about a month plus hajawahi kuwa na shida hata ayubu akiwa na watoto na akona wao na anawaleta kwa ofisi na nini it has never been a problem until wakati ilisemekana ayubu ataondoka Tanzania na ikajulikana ataondoka na watoto na ikasemekana polisi wamempatia barua ya kuondoka Tanzania na watoto na haikujulikana kama akiondoka Tanzania atarudi na watoto ama anaenda likizo ama anaenda kukaa Tanzania kabisa haikujulikana pale ndipo shida ilianzia na mimi nikijaribu kufanya kama safeguarding officer ama afisa wa watoto that was a big problem ile ni story ama ni part of the issue that was not supposed to be revealed to the public kazi ya kulinda na kutunza familia hata kama ni ndoa hata kama ni watoto hata kama ni biashara yako ni lazima usiende ukatoe maneno before everything is cooked pale haingefaa kama haingejulikana ya kwamba ayubu amepatua barua na polisi ya kuondoka na watoto Tanzania. Kama haingejulikana anaondoka Tanzania na watoto. Ah uh, what our brother Ayubu went through would probably most likely not have gone through. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu shida ilitokea kwamba polisi wamemruhusu Ayubu aondoke na watoto. Amepatua barua na ni kweli kwa sababu watoto ni wake 100% watoto ni wake lakini tusisahau ya kwamba kuna mama hapa ambaye pia ni mama ya hawa watoto ambaye ni Ruth na tunajua shida zile ilikuwa ndani baina ya Boniface baina ya Ruth na baina pia mama yake Boniface kwa sababu ya pesa na kila kitu so it was the wrong thing to do so lesson ile ambayo tuna learn ni ya kwamba what I've continued to say kama safeguarding um, officer I want to request safeguarding family around the world uh, na mtu yote ambaye ako ndani ya familia tafadhali let us not dish out things that are not necessary to be dished out especially if the information is not ready to be dished out Keep it until you know you are certain it is ready it is okay now to go out and umeshaangalia kila pande hata nikitoa hii report itachukuliwa hivi itachukuliwa hivi and if something was to happen here it will be balanced like this 
this is the answers these are the questions that will be asked these are the potential effects everything is covered otherwise we could talk mapema sana repercussions will be like what happened because kulikuwa na taharuki sijui ni taharuki sijui na ni kama when issues litokea kwamba ndugu yetu ajibu amepatua barua ya kuondoka Tanzania eh hey, watoto wangu wanaenda sitawaona tena ta, 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 ta. so there was a lot of anything could have exchanged money anything could have exchanged to ensure that those children are being blocked from kuondoka and that is why walikuwa hijacked na kuhakikisha kwamba hata ujamaa hataweza kuondoka that is how he ended up having ile zile issue alichukuliwa yeye mwenyewe akakuwa abducted na eventually alipojaribu kujitetea pale ikawa you know kuna vitu amedungwa nazo so kama hangeongea afanye hii mambo na polisi bila kuongea hakuna mtu angejua amepatiwa barua na polisi atafute ndege ama basi wala asiongee na mtu yote anaweza tu kuongea na a few people kama ndugu yetu director je ama a few friends ama a few families but wakue pss. kila kitu ikuwe sawa achukue tikiti ya ndege akifika pale airport wapige picha zake picha zao nini nini wafanye video kidogo video isitolewe hadi afike pande ile nyingine ya dar aongeleshane na watu fulani nimeshafika niko nyumbani sasa achilia video achilia ripoti ya kwamba tuko Dar es Salaam nimefika nyumbani tuko na wazazi the next video tutafanya tutafanya sasa ya kusema shukrani that is what should have happened but because proper procedures were not followed you know the whole issue was rushed there was not enough time that was put in place to think about the effects or the consequences of actions that were hastily taken uh that is why we are having now our brother at home, in the hospital and children where they are so mimi siku ya leo ningependa kuuliza tafadhali ningeomba watoto wa ayubu waache wawekwe kando ya stories za kujulikana let them go visit their father pray with their father see their father but story ya watoto tafadhali iache kuletwa kwa mtandao to keep those children safe to keep their father safe for the purposes of keeping the aunties and the uncles from Tanzania safe for the purposes of keeping you know wala watu wanapenda ayubu because even them people who love ayubu they are not safe because how what will itenda haya mambo wakijua wewe ni ndugu ama rafiki ambaye ni wadhati wa ayubu they would probably do the same thing because they will say hata wewe una wewe ndio mna fund wewe ndio mna support nyinyi ndio mnaombea huyu mtu na sisi tutataki huyu mtu atoke hapa ama tutaki watoto watoke hapa kwa hivyo hata wewe tutaku eliminate so it is important mambo ya watoto wa ayubu wacha yaache kuongelelewa kwa mtandao let let nothing be said let nothing be said about how watoto where they are you know what a what you know kama wanaenda Tanzania kama hawaendi kama wako Kenya please otherwise um our brother is still in the hospital why don't we just allow our brother to get well akakuwa sawa kwanza arudi apate nguvu aweze kukuja kuwe na watoto wake ye mwenyewe ataanza kutupatia hizi ripoti lakini tukianza kusema oh watoto wa ende Tanzania oh watoto wako Kenya watoto wako hapa machako so watoto wameenda Mombasa eh hey, watu wangu let us keep those children safe and let us see them going to visit their father that's it hakuna mtu anajua watoto wametoka wapi hii story eti watoto wako hapa watoto wana, wanaenda wapi watoto wako wapi watu wangu let's keep those children safe kwa sababu their father is already been wounded a hospitalini Mungu amemsaidia sana vile shetani alikuwa amepanga shetani alishindwa but we have to be protective ni lazima tufanye kazi kama watu ambaye wako smart and part of safeguarding is to ensure that we keep those children safe by making sure that we do not say what we don't need to say 
again using the elephant video nikasema do not try and arm your enemy usijaribu kumpatia adui yako uh, njia ambazo wewe unataka kupitia umuoneshe mipango zako because of course yeye ni adui yako what do you expect adui yako atakufanyia he wants your downfall atakuangusha therefore kaa na mambo yako yamalize wacha atekeleke wacha watu waone mazao hey. Tunashangaa watoto wameenda wako na kuru lake na kuru wameenda kukua na fun wako wana hafan kidogo pale na baba yao lake bongoria wako kwa mkahawa wame relax let us see that hakuna haja kutuambia na naelekea naelekea na kuru naenda kisumu kuogelea kidogo ah ah because already kuna watu ambaye hawataki haya mambo yafanyike so watu wangu na sio i think wacha tusome hii lesson because of what has happened na ndugu yetu ayubu na familia yake so that tusipate watu wengine ama watoto wengine ama familia nyingine ipitie through mambo kama haya sio vizuri so tafadhali tuache hii mambo ya kukimbia kwa mtandao haraka kusema tunafanya hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi unless unajua hakuna shida yoyote iko kama hakuna shida hakuna mzozo pahali then that's fine lakini kama unajua kuna pahali kuna tashwishi kuna pahali kuna mzozo kuna pahali hata kama ni wewe na dugu yako wewe na dada yako mna mkwaruzano mm -mm. the same thing kama ni mambo ya ndoa soon as mnaanza kwenda kutoa huko nje eh hey, bibi yangu alifanya hivi bwanangu alifanya hivi that is family is because kuna watu wanakuaga wameongojea tu wasikie ukisema bibi yako ni mjinga wapate opportunity ya kuvunja hiyo ndoa yako kabisa kuna wanawake wanakuaga wameongojea wasikie wewe kama bibi ukisema bwana yangu ni mtukumbafu kabisa sijai hata simtaki they pounce on him so tafadhali mambo ikifika ni ya familia ni ya marriage ni ya your relationship ni ya your business ni ya whatever you are pl planning to do with your people your friends keep it locked until it is done wacha watu waone results sasa zingine too much talking does not help because inakujaka inaanza kuleta shida baada and wazungu walisema i wish always comes last i pray because unaweza kufanya hii video you are not going to say i wish i knew because now you know so tafadhali ni kazi yangu ni kuweka watoto safe and that is why i had to do this video tafadhali we pray everybody that is involved i know the family is there the family they are prayerful people brother jay is a prayerful individual uh, security ko tight but let us continue to make everything tight let us remain sealed let us remain compact mambo ikae sealed and safeguarding families around the world tafadhali tukue tight na watoto with our youth with our families so that the enemy does not see any place he can sneak in kwa swahili walisema usipoziba ufa ndugu zanguni utajenga ukuta and let us not get there because one person in a hospital is one too many we can do with having celebration with tufanya mapati kwa park kwa nini lakini sio tukuwe tuna omba mtu kwa sababu mtu wa kwa hospitali kwa sababu ya kitu ambaye tungeweza kuzuia watu wangu ni hayo tu thank you very much i pray that uh, you continue praying for our brother you and his family and his children and i know god is going to do you good thank you because of subscribing um the next milestone is 20k we are trusting god for 20000 strong safeguarding family around the world so please come out get your subscription wacha na kuombe kwa hiari utie subscription share this message weka like yako and comment what do you think about what we are saying mimi kama safeguarding officer nimesema mambo ya kulinda watoto ni lazima yakuwe tight tusiachilie story ambazo hazifai kama ni mambo ya ndoa yako usiachilie story ambazo hazijafikisha ukiwezana ni sawa lakini kama hauwezani a a na sio hiyo tu hata ya biashara yako hata ya ile nyumba ambayo unataka kujenga 
usiongee wacha watu waone nyumba ikisimama wacha watu waone sasa umeweka profali wacha watu waone dirisha zimeingia unafanya house warming then we then go together call people to come and celebrate lakini ukianza kuambia ninaanza kuleta lori fulani za mawe ninapanga hivi na hivi kuna mtu atakuharibia very quickly there are three things that the devil is very good in doing he comes to kill to steal and to destroy hizo vitu tatu so kama ulikuwa unafikiria shetani yako na mipango mizuri na maisha yako hakuna i am coming to tell you now as a man of god the devil does those three things steal kill and to destroy lakini biblia inatuambia but jesus came to give life and give life in abundance so the father let us have that part of that we have life and we have life in abundance so let just be smart play smart and all shall be well ni hayo tu watu wangu i'll see you very soon in another video